Uh, hello, Jam School band members and parents. Uh, Tyler and I are here, and we wanted to uh, make just a quick video to uh, let you guys know what we and the bands have been working on uh, for the past uh, few weeks. Uh, we have a school-wide band project on the way. Uh, we're doing a, a video that's similar to the teacher video that we did last year. Um, uh, that teacher video was uh, Baba O'Reilly by The Who and it featured a whole bunch of jam school teachers and it actually got uh, some real success on the internet. Uh, it was uh, played on national television as well. This is from Jam School in Guelph, Ontario. It's a music school that has now obviously taken their lessons online. <laughs> Uh, so we're making another one of those, except this one is going to be featuring Jam School students instead of teachers, uh, although there might be some teacher cameos in there as well. Uh, so uh, Tyler and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what is expected of the students, what is the format, and I'm just going to pass it over to Tyler so you can kind of uh, describe uh, what bands have been up to in class. Yeah, so pretty much every band at the school has started an online recording project with their bandmates and with their teacher. Uh, we're using a really cool program called Soundtrap that lets everyone in the band uh, record uh, their parts at the same time and hit save and then it syncs everything together. And for the first time, pretty much since before Christmas when we were in person, uh, the bands can hear what they sound like as a band instead of listening to, to individual parts. So it, it's really, really cool that way. Um, Dan and I have actually jumped into pretty much every single band class over the last three weeks and uh, we've been asking band members uh, to make recordings every day. Uh, use the recording program as part of your daily practice. You know, we know everyone picks up their instrument uh, to play every day. Now they can actually pick up their instrument and play along with their bandmates using the, the online program. So uh, everyone is making a, a recording of their song every day as a practice. Um, you know, you just record over your previous day's recording uh, and you're gonna get better at playing your song because you get to play it every day with your bandmates. So when it comes time for the actual band, uh, we've moved our band classes over to Zoom, uh, which is what we're using right now, uh, because Zoom works uh, much smoother along with other programs running at the same time like Soundtrap. So the band teacher is able to take the first little bit of the band class, do a share screen, share the computer sound. The whole band can listen to their project together and then the teacher can give some feedback, give some instructions on what they're recording that day, and then everybody jumps off of the Zoom call and makes some recordings, you know, 15, 20 minutes, make your recordings. And while they're doing that, and I'm wondering if Dan, um, do you have a Soundtrap project open? Can you share your screen right now? I certainly can, yes. And, uh, and show us the chat function in Soundtrap, as well as the one-on-one -on -one video button. So even if they're not in the Zoom call together, all of the bandmates can communicate with each other. If they have any questions, if they have a cool part that they want everyone else to check out, um, they can open the chat uh, off to the side there. And Dan's just opening that chat, nice. There's even a call button, uh, which doesn't do group calls, but it lets um, uh, two band members or the teacher and another band member call each other one-on-one -on -one and uh, they can hear the sound of the project at the same time and and work on a part during that kind of little bit of, of in the middle band class where everyone goes in and records and then uh, for the the tail end of the band class everybody jumps back onto the zoom call um, for the last uh, 20 minutes or so and they can listen to what they've recorded that day and the teacher can give some feedback and some other assignments for things to add throughout the week so it's pretty cool how this band class becomes a little bit more interactive and it certainly increases the amount of playing that band members get to do um, even though it's online right now so we're really excited about it uh, dan and i get behind this 100 percent um we do a lot of recording ourselves, we do a lot of audio editing ourselves, and it's really cool to be able to share that with the students and teach everybody about this. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, it's, it's a good opportunity for uh, students while they're, you know, recording their parts, hopefully on an almost uh, daily basis. Uh, they're going to obviously get better at uh, playing their parts because they're, you know, listening back to how they've recorded it with a critical ear and they're going to catch things that they won't necessarily catch when they're practicing normally. So that's one of the real perks of recording is that you get better at playing, uh, but also their, their, their uh, skills at recording are going to get better as we move through this. And it's uh, um, once they've learned this software platform, which is called Soundtrap, 
uh, it's very much the same as all of the other ones out there that the pros use, like whether that's Logic or Pro Tools or Cubase. So uh, yeah, anyway, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, yeah. And if you guys ever have any questions or concerns, uh, feel free to give us a call. Um, we have a lot to say about this and uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll sign off. Thanks. <laughs>